Welcome back to my channel guys. So today I'm going to be doing a codfish pie or codfish patty and for this I'm going to be using salt. Here I have sugar and baking powder. Here I have my shortening, the butter flavor. And here I have some really cold butter that I grated. I use the Irish cream butter. I have some turmeric and I have some ice cold water. You can see the ice cubes in here. And also here I have three cups of flour. Let's get right into the recipe. So I'm gonna be starting with my dry ingredients. I'm going in with my sugar and baking powder, followed by my salt and also some turmeric. I'm not going too heavy with it. Just gonna mix it all together. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the butter. I'm gonna try to put it in different areas so it doesn't get all clumped up in the middle. Now make sure that your butter is frozen. Now if you don't want to grate it, you can also cube the butter. And next I'm going in with my shortening. Now we want it to have the consistency of breadcrumbs. So I'm going to go in with a fork at first. You want to have as little contact as you can with the butter because you do not want your own body temperature to melt that butter by handling it with your hands too much. That is why I'm using the fork. Now we have this breadcrumb consistency that I was talking about. And now we're gonna start going in with our ice cold water. I'm gonna do a little well in the middle. A little at a time. A little more. water okay so I'm just molding it together and I'm gonna move it onto the surface We want it to form as much into a ball as possible. Okay. Into the fridge it goes. Okay guys, so whilst my dough is in the um, fridge, I'm gonna start doing my saltfish. So I'm gonna start with my onion and garlic. Okay, so it's been two minutes. I'm gonna go in with my peppers. followed by my parsley and green onions. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the salt fish. Here it is. Now I'm going to go in with some turmeric. So 
Since I've rediscovered turmeric, I hardly reach for curry unless I'm making curry chicken. And this is my black pepper. And the good thing about saltfish is that it cooks quickly. So I'm going to put the stove off and allow this to cool and get back to my dough. So I just took the dough from the fridge. I am going to lightly dust my wicking area. Place it on here lightly dust on top as well and the rolling pin so I'm gonna start to roll it out so it does not have to be uniformed and what I'm gonna be doing is putting on some more butter, some more of that grated butter that I have. Okay, and now I'm gonna fold out again because we're doing this so we can form layers okay I'm gonna fold it again going to wrap it up again in the plastic wrap and place it back into the fridge for another 30 minutes. This is my dough out the fridge. Make sure your hands are washed and I'm going to be going in with some flour, slightly dust. I'm gonna start rolling. Okay, so now I have my dough all stretched out. I am going to start making the circles. I'm gonna get a knife. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I like to go along the edges. wasting this we're gonna roll this once more to make some more okay I'm gonna start with my filling it's gonna be on one half of my dough now do not overstuff then I'm gonna take my egg wash which is one egg yolk and a tablespoon of water. 
And I'm going to go around. And once I'm sealing, I'm pushing my stuffing to the middle. I'm going to be very careful. And I just press lightly. And go over with a fork. Lightly dusted. And here's my pie. Place it on the board. So now I'm going to cut off the uneven ends using my pizza dough. My pizza cutter. You can use a knife as well. I just like to see it uniformed. I just like to see it uniformed like this. Now we're going to do an egg wash on top. Okay, so my patties, or pies as we call it, is about to go into the oven. Oven is preheated to 400 degrees. <laughs> 